guys, it's Richie. I'm at Bangkok Drag Avenue for Zuzu Race Spirit 2024. There's 1.3 million baht on the line for all the podium places for the competitors today. There'll be trucks from 1.9 liter stock turbo D-Maxes. <laughs> to 3 liter 4JJ powered ones, Pro Mods, Dragsters, so this will be pretty awesome. Now let's go down to the pits and take a look at what the competitors brought today. Well we just had a crash down there. That's not great. Wow, this D-Max is 1,065 kilos, so it's about 2,340 pounds. I didn't think these things were that light. Okay, over here in the pits, I think we're going to go this way. We'll just start at one end and then work our way over. It's actually a, a smaller event than the last time I went to one of these Spirit Isuzu diesel events. I'm a little bit surprised. Sorry, Kyle. <laughs> Let's go walk over this way and go look around. We got a nice sunset, even though it's a bit cloudy right now. Yeah, let's see if anyone's over here. Okay, there's like one team down here. Here's this PTZ racing shop truck. And you see behind me, there's two slide trucks from that shop. Let's take a look at it. Look, they're, they're running a cooling fan to cool it off. I'm not sure which engine this is. I, I want to say that it's the 1.9 liters or the 1.9 liter. It's got an aluminum sheet metal intake manifold right here. Uh, pie cut intercooler piping. It looks like they welded a bigger inlet on the turbo. And of course they have the, the turbo horn thing here. I'm suspecting this is the stock size turbo class. I don't know if it was this truck or if it was a different one and it ran like an 11. So I think that might be an 11 second truck. This Colorado is kind of cool, but it, it looks a little different than the ones that we got. Like did they just do a different front end on a D-Max or do they share the same platform? You got an Alphard over here. Yeah, these Alphards look awesome. I wish we got vans like that at home. Here's a D-Max with a top mount intercooler. This looks like the factory. I believe that's a 4JJ. It's kind of weird. I don't think I've actually seen very many factory engines. Most of the time when I see these trucks, they're heavily modified, but I mostly see them at car shows with the hoods open. What's this Toyota doing here? Actually, this thing looks cool. I like the, the T37s with big off-road tires on it, and it's covered in bird shit. This truck looks really awesome. Let's take a look at it. Got a carbon fiber hood. I think most of this body is probably carbon fiber. I think the cab is stock, stock-ish, but you can see inside there's not much left of the stock interior. The water to air intercooler is inside the cab. They've covered the bed, the radiators back here, and there's, I'm not sure if that's the fuel tank or a coolant tank. Here's the big water tank where they, they'll dump ice into the top of it, so it's got a bigger cap on it. Yeah, I guess that's the fuel tank. I think that's the fuel pump right there. It's got a parachute. If this one's like the green one that I saw earlier, it's a, around 1,070 kilograms, which is about 2,300 pounds or 2,400 pounds. Super light. Let's check these guys' truck out. They're letting me walk through the pits and take a look at the truck. Take a look at this thing. It's got a PTZ turbo. So I think this is a 1.9. It's got a nice looking intake manifold on it. So I like the piping that these guys have done. They just have all mandrel bent pipes instead of the usual pie cuts everywhere. Okay, I talked to those guys. That is a 1.9. So now I know what those engines look like. So here's another 1.9 liter truck. It's got mandrel bends. It looks like they've got more of a stock style sheet metal manifold. Like it's a lot smaller than those other ones. So that seems to be open in this class, but they all kind of have this same modified turbo. It looks like he's actually got the same piping those other guys have. Okay, so I think this green one is one that I saw go over the way bridge earlier. So I think this truck is mostly carbon fiber. Obviously the hood is carbon fiber. I'm pretty sure the whole front end is. I'm sure the doors are. It's got Lexan windows, the bed. Let's see if we can see anything. 
I mean, it looks sheet metal, I guess, but it's very thin. It's like they've completely removed everything structural. And this is actually a regular manual. It's not an air shifted one. And I did see this truck run earlier. And for, I think it's first qualifying run, it did a 9.33, pretty fast. And this might actually be another 1.9 class truck. Yeah, again, this, this one has the, the fuel tank over here, rear radiator and coolant tank right there and then of course the parachute but i haven't seen them use it here's a truck that i think i saw run earlier but i didn't get any video of it and the turbo's missing and it did have a failure on the track where a ton of white smoke blew out so i guess that was the turbo letting go so hopefully they can get a new turbo and get back out on the track so this looks like a stock 1.9 liter and you can see the size of the turbo so i think those other turbos are like the stock size but the hot size looks bigger on this one like it might be variable geometry i wish my tie was good enough where i could actually ask some questions like technical questions but in the school i'm going to we don't learn <laughs> any of that stuff kind of dig this blue slide truck carbon fiber hood and doors and then some what are these weld wheels i don't know no idea we got kids playing football in the paddock there's a gtr over there it's always fun to be had <laughs> There's a car I want to go look at right over here. I saw a picture of this one on Facebook and it looked really cool. And here it is, the diesel dragster. Look how long this is. This thing's got a big compound turbo setup. I believe this is a 4JJ. It's got one turbo here. Let's go to the other side and look at the other turbo. It's got two parachutes nitrous see and here's the smaller turbo and it's got this big water to air intercooler fuel tank right here air cylinder for the air shifted transmission this thing is badass i'm not sure what times this runs i haven't seen it run before i'm guessing this thing runs in the sevens or maybe the high sixes but hopefully we'll see it okay let's go take a look at what these guys are working on on this truck right here I saw this run earlier and it went pretty fast. I think it did a like a 916 or something. I like the livery on it. It looks really cool. I think these are raspberries all over it. But their turbo broke in half. I had the same thing happen on my Volkswagen TDI. So these guys are also running the 1.9 liter. So they're just doing a turbo replacement right now. They have a really nice setup. Let's take a look at the line of trucks. I like this one. I like the the Lion King on the hood, 69. And I think they're going over the way bridge over there. So let's go walk through here. I really like the livery on this truck. It looks really cool. Man, these trucks are awesome. So I'm not sure if these ones are also 1.9 liters or if they're a different class. Oh, these must be a different class because it starts with a three. I like the, the paint on this red one. It's got like a blue pearl in it. Okay, let's look at this. So this truck is 1184 kilograms. I really like this blue truck and it's pretty fast. It's either this one or this con truck. One of these I just saw run and it was very quick. So let's take a look at their engine. Yeah, this is a 4JJ. So this is a different class than the other trucks. You see they have their intercooler piping going into the water and air intercooler right here from the turbo. And you got the intake. Sorry, cop. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, look, this is like a tube front end. Oh, it's very dark, but let's see. I think this is a stock size turbo. Let's take a look at this red truck since it's under a light and I'll be able to see it better. So there's the turbo setup. So I think this is like the factory size turbo, but I think they modify it. It says PTZ on there. And they've got Iron Man painted on the valve cover. That looks cool. And they've got the water to air intercooler in here like the other truck. And it looks like a fiberglass or carbon fiber front end. Uh, it, looks, it looks fiberglass. And then the doors are probably fiberglass too or carbon fiber. This thing looks awesome. So this truck runs at 8.9. It's pretty fast. Okay, after that wander around and they're cleaning something up over there, let's go to the stands. Uh, Maybe I'll go check out and see what they have to eat over in the little food market. So I guess all these trucks should be high eights, low nines. After talking to the guy with the red truck back there. Hey. <laughs> Here's the blue PTZ shop truck. 
That thing looks awesome. So if you're here at Drag Avenue, the pits are over that way. You come in from this side over here, but then there's stairs right here, and there's also stairs on the other side, but we'll go up into the stands right now. I feel like more people have showed up. Yeah, there's a few more people now. We got the whole crowd over here. Last time I went to one of these events, the stands were completely full by now. I don't know if it's just because this is like the start of their season, or what the deal is, but it's a, it's a much smaller event than I expected. Okay, we'll go down the second set of stairs here. Okay, we got the women's bathroom right there. And then on this side, we got the men's. Back here, we have the food market. This lady's got like fishbowl things. So back here, we have a lady that has like fr French fries and some other stuff. And another lady has, I think, ice cream. There's an ice cream shop right here. I'm going to go to this guy and get one of these things. We have it. eggs right here. I'm going to get this. Zadi Kaap, Padgur Bao Mu, 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 Kaap, I got, I got Kai, Kai, Chai. I'm going to get one egg. And then, Hoxit Bak, Sai Kaap. Okay, so here, here's the meal. You get a cup, cup. <laughs> and you get all these peppers. Oh, that's too much. Okay. Fish, fish, fish. Oh, fish. Fish, fish, fish. Oh, okay. And we'll try that thing. Awesome. Cup and cup. Okay, now I got my food. Let's go up to the stands and eat it. <laughs> Go Todd. <laughs> this this lady over here has soup. If you want soup, soup and noodles. I haven't tried it, but I'm sure it's good. Most things to eat here are delicious. And if you think that this might be dangerous, I've never got sick off of this guy's food, and I've eaten it like six times. <laughs> Damn, 9.18 and the guy fucked the shift up. Or he lifted, yeah. Five class trucks. Uh, what the f Look, they're bringing in the dragster. Okay, let's see if we can get through here. This dragster is so cool. Okay, let's see if we can get a view of this burnout over here. Oh shit. Wow, he just broke on the launch. That was a pretty hard launch, so it was pretty awesome. Hopefully the next truck does a little bit better, but that's gonna cause another delay on the track, but at least he pulled off pretty quickly. I just noticed all the nitrous solenoids going to that intercooler pipe right into the intake. That's pretty crazy. He's revving the engine, but it sounds a little funky.
feels like it's going about as well as the rest of the event has. It's just... Like, listen to it, it sounds like it's hurt. Like, there's something wrong with that engine. Now they're checking the track again. There's two bikes that just went over there with mops and whatever else they need to clean the track. It's not looking good. And they pulled the car off to the side a bit. The driver's out of the car now, and it's pulled off to the side. So they definitely broke something. Oh, well, that's really disappointing. I mean, I'm sure it's really disappointing for the team, but it's disappointing for the fans as well. We'll get to see some of these trucks driving next. Hopefully they don't break right away either. Wow, that was awesome. I'm surprised neither of them red lit. They left real early. Awesome. I'm just gonna go back up in the stand to grab my backpack. I just got a message that my ride is here and there's just continual problems going on with this event. So even though this event had some issues, it was still fun being at the track. That was Azuzu Spirit Race in 2024. This was the first event in their season. Hopefully the future ones will be a bit better. We'll try to come back. That's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you next time. One thing that's nice about Drag Avenue is there's a 7-Eleven right here, and it's actually a pretty big one. You can go right in here. They got ice cream after you've been sweating at the track. One thing that's pretty nice that I really like here is they have the water case, but then they have cold towels here too. So I'm just gonna get water. I don't know what the difference is between Trendy Fresh, Fresh Cool, and whatever this one is. I guess I'll try, I'll try this one this time. I should also get the sweat of Pokari after you've been sweating all day at the track. So then you can also get your Red Bull or whatever energy drinks, juice, they have beer, all sorts of snacks. Then over here, got your milk drinks. This is what you need is some toasties before you go to the track.